ربنا الرحمن لازم تفتح في وحده هناك في حط القران على زين الجميل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كلمتان خفيفتان على اللسان ثقيلتان في الميزان سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم استغفر الله حسن حسن bring one فؤاد with him and distribute this sweet Anyone wants to go can go. Anyone wants to stay can stay. I will not be too long, but a little bit. Everyone in this dunya, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't talk. Hey. Listen, it's important. Five minutes. Keep your silence for five minutes. People in this time, they are mainly people running Majority of people, if we cannot say all of them, all of them are running after some papers. And these papers, they, they think that their life is in these papers. They think that without these papers, they cannot live. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huwa al-razzaq dhu al-quwwati al-mateen. Allah is the one who sent rizq to everyone, not these papers. These papers are made up to steal your money. These are papers that they print in printing machines and they give to people as if it is, it is money. Whatever it is, all of us, we are running after these papers because we want to make to ourselves a treasure. But we are forgetting that treasure is not made by papers because papers might be eaten by mice or by mouses or might be eaten by worms and they disappear. But treasure must be from something that never disappears, which is gold. All of us, we are running toward one goal, how much we can have papers in our banks or in our homes. I heard from some, uh, uh, some trustworthy people from Libya in the time of Gaddafi, that he had in the desert, he ordered containers that they are uh, uh, fridges, freezers, in order to put some money inside. And they said that the money that he has collected and put inside these containers were 80 billion dollars. And he buried them in the desert and he was spending from this money and all papers. 
And one day gone, everything gone, and he gone. You want the treasures of dunya, or you want the treasures of akhirah? Alhamdulillah, all of you here coming for one purpose is to get the treasure of akhirah. There is nothing here, business or dunya or papers or gold or anything. People are coming for akhirah. Those who want akhirah, Prophet gave it to them. Allah gave to Prophet and Prophet gave to us. And you want treasures as much as you want. I can mention you the hadith now and you pick up number. How many treasures you want? Ten? Treasures of Akhirah. There is, when, when prophets say Allah give you treasures in Akhirah, there is no description of, you know one can describe these treasures. It's above our mind. You want 10 is enough? More, 100? More you are greedy. Leave something to them. How many, how many you want? Whatever you ask, Allah will give you. Because he said, he asked us to ask him. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of zikr if you really ignoring, uh, uh, ignorant about an issue. Allah is saying to you, come, yeah, my servant, I give you as much as you want of treasures of akhirah. You want it or you want the treasure of dunya? Don't lie. You have to say the truth. You want dunya or you want akhirah? Both. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi akhirati hasana. Allah give us in dunya a treasure and in akhirah a treasure. But the main aim for everyone is not akhirah, it's dunya. Those who their aim and goal for akhirah are few. But Prophet Sallallahu is relating from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that Allah will give, but you ask. If you don't ask, you, you will not get. Ask me, well, how much you want, how much you want? Ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The only means ask me. I will respond to you. You want the, the, the treasures of Akhirah? Okay. So what you have to do for that? And we listen to what Prophet said. An Abi Musa al-Ash'ari. He, he used to have a very beautiful voice. Nice lot like your voice. Very, very beautiful. One day he was reciting Quran in Tajweed in, in, the, in a melodious way. And Prophet was happy behind him, coming behind him, listening. He didn't see Prophet. And Prophet was so happy with that melodious voice. And uh, Sayyidina Abu Musa al-Ash'ari turned his face and saw Prophet and he said, Ya Rasulullah, if I knew you were here, I would لحبرته تحبيرا. I, I will make it more melodious, like I am zooming so deep, what they say. When you, they say zoom it, go deep. I will do it so much melodious that it will be very nice if I knew you were behind me. So he said that he heard from Prophet وسلم, that Prophet asked him,
Qala li Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Prophet asked me he said Ala adulluka ala kanzin min kunuzil jannah Do you like me to guide you or show you or tell you about one of the treasures of paradise? Prophet is asking Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, do you like me? Do you like me to tell you or guide you or inform you or? about a treasure in, 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 from the treasures of paradise? What he will say? No? You say yes or you say no? Yes. Anyone says no? Everyone says yes? Yes. So if you get that paradise, what do you want more? One par that is not one paradise. Kanz min kunuz al I will show you one, inform you about one from many. If you want the many, means take them. Do more, get more. He said, ya, Naam Ya Rasulullah, of course. What he said to him. Fakultu bala Ya Rasulullah. I said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. Qal, Say, very simple, three words. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-aliyy al-azim. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi Now you got one treasure. You want two? Say, la hawla wa la quwata Illa billah. You want three? Yes. You didn't say yes. Three? Yes. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Now three treasures. You want four? Yes. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. You like five? Yes. La hawla. Wala quwata illa billah. You would like six? Yes. La hawla wala quwata illa billah. You like seven? Yes. La hawla wala quwata illa billah. You like eight? Yes. La hawla wala quwata illa billah. You want nine? Yes. La hawla wala quwata Illa billah. Seven paradises, Jannatul Firdaus, and divinely presence. Nine. Because everyone is one, one treasure, one in one paradise. Treasures as much as you want. In second, in third, in fourth, in fifth, six, seven, eight, nine. To say what? La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. If you say it hundred times a day, you'll get hundred treasures. How much the value of that treasure? If all sinners will sit inside that treasure, is enough to clean them from their sins. But cannot. Only is given to those who say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Means no power. No strength except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Means you are, you are expressing the highest level of tawheed. You are rendering everything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Means there, there is nothing can be done without Allah's blessings and will on you. So you cannot put yourself inside. You are saying there is no one except you, Ya Rabbi, that can solve or can do or can have to do everything for the for your servants. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Muttafaqun alayhi Bukhari and Muslim. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. That will take you to 
paradise, which has a lot of treasures that we cannot express the treasure. This is in Allah's knowledge. What Allah described, we know. These are not being described. They are treasures from paradise. When you say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Make it every day your word, zikr. La ilaha, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah al-aliyya al-azim. If you want to increase it. وعن عبد الله بن يسر رضي الله عنه أنه رجل أن رجلا قال يا رسول الله. He said one day one person said to Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and we mentioned this many times. إن يا رسول الله أو our Prophet إن شرائع الإسلام قد كثرت علي فأخبرني بشيء أتشبث به. Too much principles and conditions in Islam. Give me something that I can keep. Because, especially in this time, we are not keeping anything. Keep one. Can you keep one? Huh? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Oh, what is this? Orphan yet, yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Do you want something that that man asked Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam too much conditions and principle, Ya, ya Sayyid, Ya Rasulullah. Give me something easy. He said, قال, لا يزال لسانك رطبا من ذكر الله. Make your tongue always wet from Zikrullah. You mean, means you have to do Zikrullah. And the Prophet described to you what you want to need to do in Zikrullah. He said, وعن جابر رضي الله عنه قال, جابر said that I heard Prophet وسلم saying, أفضل الذكر لا إله إلا الله. Your best zikr is to say لا إله إلا الله. That man asked Prophet for our benefit, or we did, or we will not know. That give me something that I can keep it daily. He said, make zikr. Keep your uh, tongue wet with zikrullah. So what is in the other hadith zikrullah is? 